How's everybody doing? We're going to take a look at the Pet Shop Boys catalogue on Compact Disc. Pet Shop Boys have kind of been a soundtrack to the mid to late 80s for most people growing up. Um, I certainly took notice of their um, songs because they're so catchy. Um, brilliant lyrics as well and excellent uh, hooks, melodies. Um, yeah, uh, you know, I, I kind of really only started buying this stuff in around 2002. And this is the first album from 1986. It's Pet Shop Boys Please. This is the um, further listening version. Uh, this has been um, out for some time now. Um, I think these come out in 2001. Um, the album is on one disc and then you have um, some rare stuff on B-sides. Um, this is a good album, yeah, that's where it kind of all kicked off. Um, Western Girls was actually released in 1985, or in, in 1984 in fact, a different version. Um, Opportunities is on this, Love Comes Quickly, that's a great track. Suburbia, that was a big hit as well. Um, so yeah, and uh, B-sides are usually remixes. Um, Pananero was on this. That was a track on the uh, disco album. I don't have any of the disco albums on CD. Um, I do have them all on vinyl as far as I know. Um, again, they're just extended versions. Um, but yeah, this album is where it all kind of started off. Um, and with these sets, it's just a double CD, all for the uh, standard. But this is where the uh, food and drink is, the booklet, some great photographs, and you get the lyrics, and there's interviews as well. And Neil Tennant is actually very intelligent and very funny. <laughs> Chris Lowe. Uh, the keyboard player is a little less forthcoming, um, but yeah, I mean, they're the kind of band or duo that you either like or hate. It's always, if you mention Pet Shop Boys, ah, people, I don't like his voice, uh, but if you like 80s pop and I mean, 90s, in the last, they've been around now for 35 years. Um, still making hits and uh, certainly worth investigation. Uh, they're a band you can really get your teeth into. All the albums are different really and uh, that's why I like them so much. They're so diverse. Um, so um, yeah, so that's the first album and all the details of their producers and the whole lot. Really, really cool. Album number two was released in 19. 87 and it was called actually so there's kind of a style to the whole thing pet shop boys please pet shop boys actually um they kind of had one word titles on the album uh, again this is a 2001 remaster um of the 1987 album one more chance is good uh what have i done to deserve this that was a duet with dusty springfield excellent track shopping rent hit music couldn't happen here it's a Sin, that was another huge hit in 1987. I Wanna Wake Up, Heart, that was released in 1988, it's King's Cross. Um, again, the second disc has got extras on it. Um, always on my mind, uh, the demo version. Uh, it's a Sin disco mix, 12 inches and stuff like that. Because they have a, a lot of stuff um, in the catalogue. Um, it's exhausting. Introspective was released in 1988. This is, um, it's quite enjoyable, I like it. Um, it only has six tracks, but the songs are quite long. Um, Left My Own Devices, that's a great track. I Want a Dog, that was a re-recorded B-side from the um, previous album. Domino Dancing is on this, that was a single. I'm Not Scared, that's a great track. Um, Eight Wonder, uh, a band that featured um, Patsy Kenseth, um, recorded that song and had a hit with it in 1987-88. I 
I was on my mind in my house and it's all right that's a uh, another cover um again some great uh, b-sides on this um and alternative remixes um yeah so um this one is a good one um and uh, well worked investigation behavior this is from 1990 this is when things um how will i put it became a little bit more mature um this is a great album it's got a lot of depth in it it's produced by harold faltermeyer the guy in, uh, famous for axel f um they usually pick their producers and um, track them down and ask them where they work with them um being boring is on this that's a great track this must be the place i've waited years to leave that's a great track as well and to face the truth it's a very sad um slow um, love ballad about a couple in a relationship and one of them is um, being unfaithful um, yeah how can you expect to be taken seriously um, that's about kind of pop stars who preach one thing and do another only the wind my October symphony um, so hard that was a big hit as well nervously it's the end of the world not a great track and jealousy uh, that was a single excellent track so um, here you've got um, some um, further listening from 1990 to 91. Um, there's a single one here, uh, DJ Culture, and Where the Streets Have No Name. Can't take my eyes off you. Um, when they cover the U2 track. So yeah, that's a great, a good album, very good album. It's one of my favourites, to be honest. Very. This is from 1983. Um... It's a very, very good album. It's uh, one of my favorites. Uh, when I bought this back in 2002, I just played it nonstop. There's 12 tracks on it, and every single one of them um, could have been a single. Um, Can You Forgive Her? That's a great track. I wouldn't normally do this kind of thing. Liberation, A Different Point of View, Dreaming of the Queen, Yesterday When I Was Mad, The Theatre, One on One, Make Five, To Speak as a Sin. That would have been a great uh, title for a James Bond movie soundtrack song um young offender that's another great one um one in a million and they covered um go west by village people and they do a great job again there's um some um extras on this one um what have we here um absolutely fabulous that was a a single um they even covered Girls and Boys by Blur, live and real. Um, yeah, this is a great album, an essential pop album from the 90s. Uh, one of the best. This is how it all originally looked. Uh, um, CD box is all orange. It's kind of got the Lego feel to it. Um, there you have the uh, CD booklet, the disc. Um, I have two copies of this actually, because I found it. You find it around the place in charity shops the odd time. Um, yeah, and it's certainly um, eye-catching. Uh, there's no writing on the spine or anything. So uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty unique. Uh, you know, the tray comes away. It's all custom. If you break that, you're finished. <laughs> uh, yeah, very cool. Um, this is called Very Relentless because Relentless is a kind of a an instrumental album. Um, it follows on the team with this kind of pouch. Um, it's got the original album in one sleeve and it's got uh, Relentless. Um, also came out on vinyl, it's actually quite nice. Disc is cool. It's a bit different. Um, so yeah, this is worth tracking down. It's not expensive, you find it anywhere. But the, uh, the uh, tracks on this, the instrumentals, they don't seem to be available anywhere else. So yeah, certainly worth having. Bilingual, this is from 1996. Um, this wouldn't be one of my favourites. Um, it's a bit disappointing to me. It just doesn't grab me enough. Um, plus then some of the material is a bit, um, a bit mixed. It doesn't follow a solid theme like all the other albums. Um, yeah, Discoteca is on it. Yeah. Electricity, 
Say Vida A. It's a nice song, but it's 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 kind of a Latin thing going through it. Red letter D. Uh, before. Um Saturday Night Forever. Yeah, it's it's only okay. Um you can see here Paninero ninety five. Truck driver and his mate. That's a great track. Um how I learned to hate rock and roll. Um Yeah, it's wouldn't be my favourite. Uh, you know, it's it kind of yeah. It never captured my attention too much. Nightlife. This was released in 1999. It's not bad. Um, I kind of bought this after I bought all the uh, original classic Pet Shop Boys albums, I call them. Um, for your own good, closer to heaven. I don't know what you want, but I can't give it any more. That's a fantastic track. It's one of my favourite. Happiness is an option. You only tell me you love me when you're drunk. Vampires. Radiophonic. The only one. Boy Strange. It's, a, it's not a bad track. In Denial. That's a duet with um, Kylie Minogue. New York City Boy. Again, that's a nod to Village People and Footsteps. It's not bad. I, I, I don't really go back to it that much, you know, as a whole. Um, yeah, but then again, this is the um, expanded version. <laughs> so, yeah, I grabbed this when it came out for fear it would disappear. This came out in um, 2017. So the album is here and there's two discs of uh, further listening. Lots of demos um, and remixes. And again, the... Um, I like the um, nice big box, I guess. Well done. Um, good booklet as well. And again, the interviews are superb. You know, there's a lot of reading there. And you actually learn a lot from the lieutenant. He's a very, very clever guy. Um, I love um, I love reading about him, uh, the things he talks about, um, because he's quite um, very astute. And... Um, you know, you, yeah, their influences are incredible. Yeah, um, you know the the things that they um, come up with um, and, and who they actually like. It would be very, very surprising. This is called Release. It was released in two thousand and two. Um, they kind of got a bit guitar orientated on this one. Um, again, um, Home and Dry. That's a great track. I get along. It's almost an oasis kind of vibe from that. Birthday Boy London. Email. The Summer and Autumn. Love is a Catastrophe. Here. The Night I Fell in Love. You Choose. Uh, album is a bit kind of flat. It, it, it doesn't really... You know, it's not... It wouldn't be, wouldn't be my favourite again. Um, here you can kind of see... I don't know if you can see it kind of etched into it. Um, this came with um, four different colour covers. Um... Uh, yeah, it's um, it's okay. You know, I, I, I like I said, I don't go back to it that much. Um, not bad. It's kind of embossed with a flower, four different colors. This is the expanded version that came out in twenty seventeen. Again, um, lots and lots of stuff here. Um, the album plus two extra discs. Miracles is on his flamboyant. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff. Um, and uh, again, you know, the booklet. Lots of stuff on it. Um, plenty reading. Um, yeah. I, I've read these and uh, I think the first um, the first remasters of the early albums, I've read them a couple of times. They're so good. They're so interesting. <laughs> 2003 saw the release of Pop Art, uh, Greatest Hits. Uh, this is a special limited edition with 45 tracks. Uh, really nice. Um, so it's got pop and art so you can see that uh, pop has got go west suburbia see a vida what if i don't deserve this always on my mind 
And then Art has left my own devices. Um, flamboyant, being boring, can you forgive her? Kind of deeper stuff, Western Girls. Then there's a mixed CD here as well, but um, it's not mixed. They're all um, individual tracks by different uh, remixes. That's the, um, the, uh, the, the, the fold out. Um, I actually have it on um, the DVD as well. That's the mix. Um, uh, yeah, so pop. They've, they've got matching, matching colors. Yeah, very nicely done. Um, and it's great, you know, if you just have nothing else. Um, oh yeah, this came in a newspaper and I just put it in there. It's uh, 25 years of hits. Yeah. So, um, yeah, this is, um, you know, an essential item because it's... Um, some of the single versions as well are uh, different um, to the album version. 2005, uh, this is kind of not Pet Shop Boys, it's classed as Tenant Low, um, it's on EMI Classic um, Battleship Potenkum, based on the um, movie um, performed by Pet Shop Boys and Dresdner Sinfoniker and conducted by Jonathan Stockhammer orchestration by Thorsten Lash. I haven't really listened to it that much. Um, Mm. There you go. It's based on a movie, I think, um, the Soviet, the Russian Navy, going way back. Fundamental. Uh, this was released in 2006 uh, and produced by one of my favorite producers, um, Trevor Horn. Um, it's a good album, um, nice production as well. Um, this is a special limited edition. Includes um, a track bonus. Um, there you go. Um, Psychological is good. Sodom and Gomorrah show, that's fantastic. Some slow songs in as well. Uh, Numb, I made my excuses and left. God willing. Luna Park is quite good, I like that one. And with Stupid. Mm. Casanova and Hell is a great track. Um, yeah. And then you got uh, the extras. Again, um, black box, custom made, different colour discs. Um, in private, that's a duet with Elton John. That's a good track, actually. So very good. Remastered version from 2017. Um, for further listening, and it's got the album plus um, remixes, um, demos, and all that kind of stuff. Um, and it's interesting. Uh, Trevor Horn story and all that. Uh, I like the way they carried on the catalogue um, from 2001. Uh, even with these, you know, everything is more or less exactly the same. Um, so that's the continuity. <laughs> you can tell that the Petra Boys art direction or their art department is pretty obsessive. Yes, came along in 2009. Um, this isn't a bad album either. It was. Um, yeah, that's quite good. It's interesting, and it's got some um, some good songs on there. Um, okay, um, the, there, there's an instrumental album on it, but I think one song. It's got dub versions of the album tracks, yeah, and one song is um, "This Used to Be the Future." Um, that's uh, got um, Philip Oakley on it from um, the Human League and uh, yeah it's really good. Uh, for this one they worked with um, the people behind uh, um, Girls Aloud, um, they were a songwriting partnership and uh, they wanted to work with them uh, because they were pretty formidable at the time. Um, yeah, 
Um, who was the producer again? I'm just going to get a bit blank on it. Um, I don't know. Cinemania or something like that. I just can't remember. Uh, the old memory is um, slipping, I think, as I'm getting older. Um, but yeah, the, um, it's a good album and uh, it's certainly worth having. This is the further listening version. Uh, again, it's a three CD uh, box set, I guess you could call it. Some great stuff on this. Uh, this used to be the futures on it, and it says with Phil Oakey. It's Phil Oakey, not Phil Oakley. Yeah, I, I, I got that wrong a while ago. Um, Oakley, Oakley, Oakley's are glasses, aren't they? Goggles. <laughs> um, so, you know, demos, uh, remixes um yeah so this is a, the christmas ep is here as well my girl um the song that madness sang um and a, a version of vida la vida domino dancing um that's a song by um coldplay isn't it yeah my favorite band ever coldplay <laughs> just kidding <laughs> So yeah, this is quite good. Um, again, you have everything here you need. Um, yeah, Xenomania is the name of the uh, production company. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. I was right. Right, um, Pandemonium. That's a, a live album. I think it's a DVD came out as well of that. Um, it's in the uh, O2 Arena. Um, uh, in London, in um, two thousand and nine. So it's basically going through all their um, it's there's a DVD in this box. So to to the Pet Pet Shop Boys concert. Yeah, there you go. That's the DVD. Yeah, I think I got it in a bargain bin or something. I can't remember. It was quite cheap anyway. So it's just a click his item. I don't think I've ever played it. 2011 uh, format. This is B-sides and bonus tracks from 96 to 2009. Um, this is the original version uh, that came out in a little box, uh, just like um, the pop art album. Um, there's some great stuff on this. Truck driver has made hit and miss in the night, 1995. Um, just got take a new version. Um, confidential demo for Tina. Um, 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 disco potential, um, sexy nogger, um, always nightlife, um, friendly fire, where the pitch up boys, um, in private seven inch pitch up boys with Elton John, um, blue on blue, um, gin and jag, um, yeah, it's cool. I love the um, artwork as well, really cool. Nice package. Uh, again, there's a lot of reading in here. Uh, interview and stuff like that. Um, this is so nice. Um, very minimal. Minimalism is the key to um, to, to pitch up boys. You know, minimalism, minimalistic, uh, opportunistic. <laughs> Um, if you if if you um, get your hands on the book as well, I can't remember what it's called. It came out, oh, I guess around the time of pop art. I think um, there's a book and it's got all um, outtakes of album artwork and the whole shebang. It's excellent. Yeah, very very good. Well worth having. It's the one with the um, chrome cover on. This is Elysium. It was released in 2011. Um, this is a kind of another. Lame album. Um, I don't mind. It's it's, it's not bad. Um, it's leaving. That's a good track. Invisible winner. Um, nothing really jumps out of it. Requiem in Denim, Requiem in Denim, and Leopard Skin is a good track. Um, it's not bad. Um, still got the shrink on it. I think I bought it. I think I bought it on vinyl back then as well, and it, the, the vinyl has um, an extra disc of um, 
Yes, yeah, so you looked up the CDR. The vinyl has an extra disc of instrumentals, and uh, I copied the um, I copied the instrumentals from the vinyl LP, and there was also um, the instrumental version of this CD, and it had a kind of orangey kind of color. It was like evening. So yeah, that's um, that's it really. That's what I did. Oh boy, this is the 2017 um, further listening version of Elysium. Um, again, the album. Um, the um, instrumentals aren't on this, which is kind of strange. Um, but there's just demos on it and a few B sides, and then there's um, some remixes of Leaving. Um, again, the um, just lead notes are excellent. Um, I kind of jumped on all these when they came out because you know, CDs now seem to come out and then disappear, and you're looking for them, and then all of a sudden you've gone to Discogs, and before you know it. A CD that was 15 euros is 30 euros. Uh, I guess record companies aren't pressing CDs in the vast numbers they used to, you know, because the demand certainly isn't there. 2013 saw the release of Electric. Um, I bought this on vinyl when it came out. I think I have all this stuff on vinyl. Uh, I must double check, maybe do a video on it sometime. Uh, but yeah, this came out. Um, it's not bad. I, I I I didn't really get stuck in it at the time. Um, yeah, I actually bought this and it came today. I just wanted to have it for the for the video. Um, so I got this on on eBay. It wasn't expensive. Um, it's it's the first album that's on there um, by two label. So they're not with Parlophone anymore. You know, um, if compilations come out. It would be on Parlophone. I hate that I can't even get the um I can't get the book to though. Ah I can't be bothered. Um this isn't bad, you know, it's produced by uh, Stuart Price, the guy who um, did Madonna and the Killers. Axis, Bolshe is good, Love is a bourgeois construct. That's got the team from Whitnell and I um sampled through it. Fluorescent inside a dream, the last to die. Shouting in the evening. It's a pretty dancey album, you know, it's you know, full on. Yeah. So I must give it a whirl again. It's been a while since I heard it. 2016, uh super. Um now this is as minimal as you're gonna get. Could be anybody. Um again Happiness Pop Kids, yeah. I I didn't listen to it enough. Uh, it never really grabbed me enough. Um in another Stuart Price production. Um, nice artwork, nice package. I have the um, I have the vinyl. The vinyl is white. Um, it's a nice laminated inside um, booklet. I like the artwork here, it's great. Um, so yeah, super, you know, I'd have to go back and see the problem is if, if a Pet Shop Boys album starts kind of that's been boring. <laughs> I kind of go back and listen to one I prefer. Um, that's just the way I am, you know. And finally, Hotspot. This was released last year, around this time. This is a good album. I instantly liked it when I got it. Um, I bought the vinyl at the time and I downloaded the um, the album off the, uh, I don't know, wherever you get it from the website. But um, again, this only just came today in the mail because I wanted it for this video. Um, I bought it on um, on eBay from Dodax UK. Um, Will of the Wisp, it's a great track. You were the one. Happy people, Dreamland, hoping for a miracle. Um, it's kind of got all the classic Pet Shop Boys ingredients, but um, it's very catchy on first listen. Maybe not so, but it's only the third, fourth, fifth listen. Then you really you really get into it. And uh, I played it again today when it came, and I really like it. So. Um, yeah, this is a good one, um, and um, yeah, I'm kind of looking forward now to another one coming from them, whenever that is. So um, yeah, that's it. Um, that's uh, Pet Shop Boys on Compact Disc. Like I said, I don't have any of the Disco albums. Uh, disco 1, uh, I think it's from 1986. Um, I have it on vinyl. I don't have it on CD. As far as I know, I, I, I could be somewhere, I don't know. Uh, but Disco 2 is awful. It's from um, 1994, and the whole album is 
is mixed and segued into um, all the tracks are segued and it's all stuff like um, oh, Rolo, Sister Bliss and all that kind of stuff like you know stuff that I actually really don't like it's kind of you know I like when the Pitcher Boys remix their stuff and they got other people to remix them uh, like Shep Pettibone and um, people like that but I don't like um, I don't like that era for remixes back in the early 90s I don't like it um, Disco 3 was only okay um, and Disco 4 has some interesting stuff on it but that's another story like I said I have them on vinyl I'll try and get around to doing that sometime um, but uh, yeah that's it for now and um, thanks for watching this video and if you like you can subscribe and uh, take care